In almost any fitness program for the gym, you can easily find at least one of the variation of glued bridge. Someone does it with a pretty impressive weight with a barbell and someone else with a light load to tone gluteal muscles. Many people believe that glued bridge is a girl's exercise. Indeed, a lot of people believe there is weak, secondary and poorly female exercise like leg curls, for example. Uh, this attitude is fundamentally wrong. What is the secret of such great popularity? Let's see what benefits you can get from it and how to use it to the maximum. Well, before you start guys, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It's not difficult for you and for us, it's a great support and motivation to create new and useful videos. Sitting for the long periods of time during the day causes the glutes to weaken, at the same time the flexors muscle in front of the thigh shorten, causing them to tighten. Eventually the body begins to slouch, as the strange hip flexors pull the body forward, and the gluteal muscles lack the strength to bring the body into the normal upright position. However, the glute bridge engages the glutes and lower back, which are responsible for the correct vertical position of the body in space, and with regular performance of this exercise, they become stronger. Strengthening the gluteal muscles and the muscles that straighten the spine helps to maintain a straight posture in both standing and sitting positions. This exercise like squats involves hip and knee extension, so they both work the same muscle group, which includes the gluteus maximus and quadriceps. However, first of all, the bridge train the gluteus maximus, which is the largest muscle of the buttocks. And it's this muscle that is of great importance in giving the desired shape to this part of the body, especially for women. And this exercise is a champion for gluteal pumping. According to the same myographic study, you will not get anywhere else such involvement of the gluteal muscles as in the glute bridge. But if you don't want to train the glute, then think about the health of your spine, in which strong glutes are of paramount importance along with the back extensors muscles and core muscles, which leads us to the following benefit. After all, glute bridges work not only hip extension, but also safely and effectively work the muscles responsible for posture. You shouldn't neglect this muscle, as they are the most influential group in the body. Remember that for a strong body, a strong back is essential. These muscles that run through the calves, buttocks, back of the thighs and lower back are an integral part of healthy movement, proper posture, athletic shape and freedom from back pain and discomfort. Performing glute bridges help reduce lower back pain. In addition to the glutes at the back of the thigh, lower back and abs are also worked. Along with the same benefits as squats, the glute bridge has one important advantage. It doesn't put any pressure on the Lola back. This exercise is godsend for those who can do a squat because of back problems, hip problems or knee pain. By performing this bridge, you can work on these muscles while lying on your back and without straining your joints. The technique of the exercise is easier to master than the squat technique, so it can also be used as a preparation for a full squat technique. And like I said, strong core muscle are also important for a healthy lola back. And as you realized, the glute bridge helps here as well. Although this exercise primarily targets the gluteal area, it also activates and strengthens the stabilizing core muscles. The transfer abdominis muscle and the multifidus muscle cover the entire midsection of the body. Their job is to support the spine and by strengthening them. It is as if we are placing our abdomen in a corset. This exercise makes it flatter by concentrating on the abs and working the oblique muscles, which makes the waistline more defined. The glute bridge helps in stabilizing the knees, due to which pain can subsequently go away. But of course, not in all cases as you can understand. One of the main causes of knee pain is lack of control of the femur, located at the top of the thigh. Without proper control, it can slide forward, causing internal rotation or curling toward the midline of the body. This movement is often accompanied by knee pain. The gluteal muscles play an important role in controlling the position of the thigh bone and the hip joint. 
This affects uh, the joint function of all the other bones in the knee joint. Well, if you're a fan of running and jumping, then gluteal bridges are also useful for increasing running speed and jumping height. As they make the hips and muscle involved in these activities much stronger. Often people believe that in order to achieve the desired speed and height, it is necessary to train the calves and persistently perform hundreds of two raises in the hope of achieving the desired results. But this opinion is wrong. Because the desired strength and speed lurk in the glutes. Studies have also found that correcting muscle deficits in the thighs and glutes help runners minimize the leg and knee problems, which leads us down the chain to the next benefit. Another reason to include this wonderful exercise to your workout program is that many people tend to focus all their attention to a specific body part and to actively train only that part, which leads to muscle imbalances. If you only train your abs, your lower back will be weak and more prone to injury. Some trainers say that lower back problems often occur in those who spend all their time doing abs crunches or other exercises that involve compression of the spine. One way to avoid injury and get stronger is to work the opposite muscle groups. A more balanced approach to training both sides of the lower body also produces better results. The glute bridge is also worth including to your weight training program to improve your bench press. Yeah, because leg work plays a huge role in lifting weights. The glute bridge helps you increase your strength gains on the squat and in the deadlift. In particular, glute activation helps transfer force from the lower body upwards and also protects as the lower back. But many people completely forget this when performing bench presses. A number of athletes have found that performing a few glute bridges with a barbell before bench exercises activates the glute muscles and promotes a more efficient bench press. Constant practice of this exercise over time makes the glute as strong as the quadriceps and posterior thigh muscles. Yes, and I have often seen injuries in the gym as a result of deadlift and squat, but I have never encountered injuries after performing glute bridges. Ok friends, if you like this video, please put your like down below and subscribe to the channel. And then we'll see you in the next video.